Good morning, everybody. We are headed out for a an alone time kind of day. I find I uh, uh, not finally, but I get to uh, I get to go shed hunting all by my lonesome today. Not super far from the house. It's in a place I've never been, but uh, kiddos are staying in because it's supposed to get 20, 30 mile an hour winds, uh, gusts of up to 40. So I'm gonna get into the trees and see if I can't get out of it. If it sucks too bad, I'll just. Uh, I'll just head home, but. All right, so we just locked the pickup up and uh, the wind is here already. I'm talking 15, 20 mile an hour already, but trees seem to be knocking it down pretty good i got into a spot back here that i used to do a lot of four-wheeling with a good friend of mine but had kids got rid of the four-wheeler the whole shebang we'll have them again someday but i want the kids to ride with me so i would rather make memories on foot for now um i've uh, i didn't even realize this country was back behind here i didn't know that this was all blm so we're gonna go pick it apart. Looks like some good south facing slopes in here. Good feed and stuff. I've always thought it was good looking country. I know there's not a ton of elk in here, but I've seen a lot of deer and a lot of everything else. So should be able to find something. Hopefully we'll be good to go. Finally, a little something we can get behind here. A little rub up here. We're about a mile and a half into it and I just haven't found any sign of anything until this rub here. There's a lot of trees that have been just decimated by porcupines peeled off but that's the first rub i've found and just no tracks nothing real fresh anywhere we're first part of april here so there should be a little something still but like i said we're only like a mile in so we'll keep pulling her apart try to keep track of the dogs and uh hopefully we can pull something out of here it's got to be something in here Got good feed, decent cover. We'll find some. I promise it wasn't from the dog. Finally hit a little sign here. Found a bunch of good rubs up there from last fall and this spring. And there's there's at least some stuff moving through here. So finally getting into something here. Well, it's not 100% a problem, but kind of explains a lot. Uh, finally start getting into some good sign found a bunch of good scat good tracks elk and deer which is cool to see and i also found about a size 11 boot track so somebody's been in here whether they were just hiking or whatnot i i half expected them to be in here today but uh either way those tracks are a couple weeks old and it's early enough there's still deer dropping elk dropping so uh we're gonna keep on keeping on i'm actually I'm gonna go clear over there up that finger and then work my way across to all of that stuff over there and then come back out over here and tie back into the pickup because I'm gonna cover some country that I don't think a heck of a lot of people are gonna have the ambition to get to it's a long ways back in there and I've got all day so obviously people have been in here like I said I half expected it but for now we're gonna wear some boots out head to the other side and see what we can find maybe we'll bump something in the bottom find something to unless, unless i'm completely wrong we got our first looks like a hard white maybe a chalker over there on the hillside field deer probably a left side it's only a quarter of my eighth mile away so hopefully i didn't totally let myself down and i'm gonna go pick up an icebreaker it uh, looks like it's been getting beat up in the sun a little bit, but can't pass up the first one. Gotta go check it out. Don't forget my glove. On my way over to look at that other one, I found this old chalker hidden in the trees here. Broke off there. Boy, this thing is ancient. It's even got moss growing on it, all cracked out. Cool, bro. I think I'll pack that out just for a yard ornament. 
because I'm tacky like that, but man, that thing is old. Starting to get into them a little bit. So I found that shed right there in the little brush there in that little cut bank. Walked up here and found this, what looks to be a shed buck skull. It's not cut. It looks like it's broke off. Look back in the trees over here. I wonder if he didn't shed and then die back in here or something got him. Because there's the rest of his bones you can kind of see back in there. Long time ago. What do you guys think? They shed and then die in there? Probably not on the same day, but either way, never know. Kind of cool to find. I don't think I've ever found a shed buck skull before. Usually if they shed, they've made it. <laughs> Who knows? Could have been killed off by a bunch of coyotes too. Hard telling. Anyhow, we're off to go pick up this first shed that I found. Along with that old banger. Just walking up on the other one that I saw. Standing right over there, mid-screen. Saw this one laying out in the open. Nothing special. Looks like hard white. A couple years old, I guess. Been out here in the sun. It's hard telling, but yeah, a couple years. Nice. I'll take that. Some of the random things you find out here. Looks like maybe years ago. Eh, not too many. There's some poly pipe there. They tried plugging off a spring here, maybe, making a water tank. But, first glance, I thought the tree was growing out of the water tank, which would have been kind of funny, but that one's been there a hot minute. Ain't much left galvanized on the old galvanized tank. But I'm guessing it was over there, maybe, right in here somewhere. It's all been washed out. Kind of cool. We almost always uh, come across something odd when we go to new places, but not always. If you guys want, go ahead and comment below some of the most random things you've found. I know I've seen people find old stoves, like wood stoves, in the middle of nowhere. Taking two horses to carry them, but they were out there. And just random stuff like that. I found old cars that look like they rolled down that hill that there isn't even a road on anymore. And that's where they left it. So anyway, yeah, just uh, part of the fun of doing this stuff is just finding random things all over the place. Wind's blowing pretty hard, so I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but I looked over. I don't know if you can see it or not. Center screen there. Tines down in the sagebrush is a little fork. Standing right over there. Like I said, right here, tines down. Looks like maybe last year's shit. Look at this little thing. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, we'll call it last year's. Been getting beat up pretty bad in the sun, but yeah, I'm just walking past 30 feet over there. Whatever, however wide this thing is. And sure enough, tines down, laying in there. Right on, right on. Just cruising along. I've been seeing elk sign all day, but I hadn't found a rub for him yet. And I'm pretty certain that can only be an elk rub. It's old, it's really old, but it's last year old probably, maybe even older. But there's no way a deer got that high. Huge bull, no. Decent bull, yeah. And definitely an elk. So, we're gonna start picking these hills apart. And ultimately, we'll go back around over there, back up to the truck. But, a lot of country to cover. And it's only noon o'clock, actually. It's like 11.15, so we got a lot of time yet. I'm just happy to find that. Started the day, I didn't have any goals, but I found three, nothing real special yet, but can't complain pretty stoked about it but now I've kind of changed my my attitude my new goal is an elk shed and a brown shed of some sort by the end of the day that gives me yeah, four or five hours six hours to scoop something up and we've been scooping a couple here and there so I got faith we can do it I'm just hoping to find something fresh 
All right, <clears throat> I have systematically demolished half the food in my pack in the last five minutes, so I was getting a little hungry. Dogs are enjoying a little break too. About just short of four miles in, and uh, cloud covers set in, winds picked up, and we're we're still trucking. But I just got <laughs> looking at my Onyx, and I've been so distracted by looking at other stuff. I'm about to walk onto private land. So I gotta turn around and head back over there. <laughs> ah, chasing squirrels all day. I love this stuff. But anyway, I kind of got out of the sign on this side of stuff and decided to have me a little snack attack. And then I'll go ahead and I guess head back that way because that's where I'm supposed to be. Actually, I'm supposed to be like three miles that way. I, my plan didn't work at all. All good stuff though. I mean, I'm not at all, at all mad about it because this is all good uh, intel for some hunting close to home. And I've seen one set of boot tracks about a mile from the pickup. I haven't seen any, <clears throat> no trash, no nothing back in here. So does that mean nobody comes back in here? No, but it's back in here far enough. I think it might be a pretty good spot. And there's definitely deer sign in here. So there's bound to be deer at some point. And I know this part of the country, as far as Wyoming goes, <clears throat> There's a good chance for some good big mule deer in here. So I'm not mad about not following my plan, but now I've got to stick to the plan or else I'll be trespassing. So here we go. Get you some of that good stuff. Not very often you find running water down here. And they are loving it. Get the feeders out right there. I wonder where it's coming from. It'll be back up around the corner there somewhere. Got us our first balloon. It was entertaining to find these. <laughs> I'm way out of town. Is it somebody's birthday? Looks like just a big flower. Ugh. A big old flower. Nice. It's always impressive how far these things make it. <sighs> it's been like two hours since I talked to you guys last and I'm just picking around this private here trying to get over to something that looks decent. And if I'd have just been there in the first place, I'd have been a lot happier. But i got to get through a couple little cut banks here. That's pretty ugly. I don't know if you can see those or not. But get through those and then head up the ridge behind or in front of me here. Should be into some decent stuff. It's a big south slope with good trees, good feed, all the stuff. So hopefully we'll find something. If not, I guess I'll see you at the truck. Hey, Tango. There, guys. That'll be it. Couple little chalkers there. I can put the other one in the pouch because it was small enough. Brody's apparently too tired to jump up in here, so I gotta pick him up. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Anyway, did ride around five and a half, somewhere around five and a half, six miles, I guess. And that's all we found. So we can mark this off. Again, I think it'll be some good deer hunting, but I don't think it'll be worth shed hunting ever again. Uh, good hike, either way. Got a little more country I'm gonna hit on the way back because it's only like two o'clock. So we're gonna try that out. It's the only wildlife I've seen all day. I gotta get it in there. Nose and ponds. All right, so I got to my little spot that I was gonna hit. The wind is a howling. And you can see the hills that I'm gonna try to get to in the background. Just past all those cows, but anyway. I'm not going to bring the pack or anything. It's just going to be one or two hour little quick hitter here. So we're just going to see what we can't pick up. I don't feel like there's going to be anything, but it's country I want to see. So we're going to go ahead and go hit it. Got the old puffy sit gone and some ear covers because I don't like my ears being cold. And hopefully sunglasses will knock the wind down a little bit. Uh, yeah, should be good. The dogs are pretty well wore out, so I'm going to finish them off here. <laughs> So as I'm in the process to go see what this little skull is, I look to my left here. Look at this ancient old dog. This one's definitely staying in here, but holy smokes. It's an antler, I think. I have never seen one so old. That's pretty wild. You know what? Finish your life right there, my friend. Let's go see what we got down here. Looks like some kind of predator school. We gotta figure out how to get down this crap without falling all the way to the bottom. Alright, right, just
he's got down here to it. Looks like it had some pretty good chompers up front at one point. You can see, you know, they're gone, but what do we got here? Yeah, it had some pretty good ones there too. Tango go. What do you guys think it is? I think I'm going to take it out. It's kind of missing some cool parts that I would have wanted, but I don't know. Maybe some kind of cat? I'm guessing some kind of cat. I don't know. It's in good shape. Maybe I will take it out. Do a little research, figure out what it is. If you guys know what it is, let me know. So, went up the hill about three or four feet. Okay, six or eight feet. And got to looking around, found a bunch of bones, and turns out I found the teeth. Oh, I just dropped one out. Look at those nasty things. What do you guys think it is? Like bobcat? Along those lines. Badger, maybe. I don't know. Pretty nasty looking, though. Kind of cool. I'm glad I found those teeth. And I'm glad I brought it with me. Because that's, uh, that's going on the shelf in the shop. That's pretty cool. I'll be honest with you. I was headed out of here. But look at that banger right there. Yeah, buddy. Walked right onto it. My knee feels like it's about to blow up. But I am so glad I walked onto that one. Yeah, buddy. Good forks. Good eye guard. Couple years, it looks like. Look at that little point coming off the burr. <sighs> what a cool shed. That made my day right there. Let's pick her up. Oh, yeah. A few years old for sure. A little crack in there. Look at that burr. That is crazy with that little point coming off. That is a stud buck for around here. Yeah, digging it. Can't be mad about that, heck yeah. close that one out total of I think 11 and an eighth miles today oh Shrek's on 11 and an eighth miles and we picked up four sheds left one behind found what I think is a badger skull so that'll be kind of cool I'll figure out what kind of skull it is let you guys know but if you guys know throw it in the comments other than that guys again it would be much appreciated if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and uh We'll see you next weekend. Sounds like Kylie and I are going to take the munchkins and go do a little shed hunting again. So kids are having a blast with it. Kylie is ready to get out and uh, I think it'll be good. We'll see you then.